Go ahead, Kathy. So I still see we're still waiting for Sandy to join, but I will go ahead and uh, call the meeting to order. And the other person who is missing is um, Jennifer. And she is today's minute taker. But in any case, <laughs> so this is April 11th, and it is the Joint Capital Planning Committee. Um, I am going to call the meeting to order, although I see we're missing a couple key people. Um, so, uh, and one of them has just joined. So I'm calling the meeting to order at 4.01 p.m. on Thursday, the 11th. And I will just go around the screen as I can see people's faces and just call out and let me know that you can hear and we can hear you. Bob. Present. Eugene. Present. Lee. Present. Anna. Present. And Sarah. Here. So we're missing, I think, one member. And I'll be so, right back. Okay. So um, Sandy sent us yesterday afternoon an update of the update <laughs> is, uh, is, I guess, the best way to do it, where the major change was on, on the... Uh, earlier recommendation to move the $1.9 million for a radio safety, public safety radio system to next year for debt. And he, uh, I will let him speak to the changes. Um, so I, I want to do that before we turn to the report, because it will uh, necessitate um, changing a section of the report. So Jennifer, I just want to, I'm called, I called the meeting to order at 401 and I'm confirming that you can hear and be heard? I can. Um, I joined as an audience member just as I heard you say something about someone taking the minutes, which I think is supposed to be me. Am I taking minutes? Is, you are supposed to be taking the minutes, yes. So I will be taking the minutes. We're, we're glad you arrived. Um, so um, Sandy sent, a, what I started to say, Sandy sent us an update that changed one of the recommendations from last week, which will also change what we have in the report. But Sandy, I'll let you speak to it and then um, we can change the wording in our report to match this if um, I'm assuming we agree with the decision, but your recommendation, but I, I think some people have questions. So the, the floor is yours to say as much as you want about the update that we received yesterday. Thank you, Kathy. Nice to see everybody. Um, I got a long email with some backup material from the uh, assistant fire chief yesterday about the radio system showing that the fire and police departments had done a lot more research into this whole issue uh, and con had conducted a third party. Uh, it's a current vendor of ours, but who did an analysis of both the equipment and um, Kind of the the brown spots or the blackout spots around town, plus um, more detail about the compatibility with other systems, uh, both police and fire and UMass and other communities around. Some of which had been mentioned, but it was good to see it in, in a report. Based on that, I then changed the timing of spending on the public safety radios to have 900,000 be borrowed um, for FY25 um, and could be spent then was payment starting in FY26. The 900,000 would be to buy components of the base radio system, the towers and the controls and so forth. And then another million dollars a year later that would be used to buy the actual handheld radios, um, the handhelds would then have multiple bands on them. Fire would speak on one band, police on a different band, but because they are multi-band radios, they could then switch over and listen to each other if they needed it. Um, but they really need to do the base system first, get that in place um, before they can actually go and buy the radios. Um, so with that, um, I changed 
Uh, the numbers on the plan it didn't affect at all our FY25 spending. It did uh, somewhat increase the deficit in 26 and the overall deficit sum because we're just borrowing money a year earlier. Uh, so that's reflected on this sheet. Um, you can eventually see it. Um, actually, for some reason that's not reflected there. That's funny. Um, it is reflected on this sheet here showing um, the public radios one and two in these um, in these blocks. Uh, with that, um, I'll stop sharing and answer any questions people have. Sarah, I know you had one, so Sarah Marshall. Yes, thank you. Sandy, can you, um, so this new system is being bought over two years. Are the base, the new base pieces can be used with the existing subscribers? Radios. Or yes. Okay. Yes, because they, they, they all, yes. <laughs> so it'll go, it'll go into use as soon as it's installed, but then they'll. There may be some point where they're running parallel just because they are testing and so forth, but. At some point, the new one will take over. Anna, I just wanted to um, thank Sandy for looking into this. It was something I was um, uh, worried about. And so I, I wanted to just appreciate you for um, checking in on it. Thank you. Uh, I, I appreciate the company's concerns about these issues. And it's good to have the back and forth. So we will fix the section of the report that said the whole 1.9 was moved and change it to uh, say this split. Um, and so people can assume that I will do that. I'm not gonna do it in real time um, as in on the screen. So Sandy, I think what you're saying is that the debt table, um, I can talk to Sandy later about um, what tables we submit with the report. We don't always submit all the level of detail that we looked at with the report because the town manager already has that, um, but we submit enough that readers of our report will be able to at least have some idea what we're talking about. Um, so um, I think that was, and then the one other, we had two other things we asked for either more information or verification. One was, and I shared it with everyone, an explanation of the spending in the school out years that wasn't Crocker, because there was an issue of with a new school, why it's all this. And uh, Rupert sent us in a couple paragraphs explaining what the technology and other was. And that didn't affect this year. It affected the next years. And then we questioned, because someone's very sharp eyes, not mine, saw the greens mower in the middle school, in addition to a greens mower at the golf course and we asked whether that was just a mistake and a duplicate and Sandy confirmed that it was a duplicate. So that freed up 71,000. So, so just to give you a little bird's eye view in the report, the way I drafted it after our discussion last week was that we are recommending $60,000 for the two resident requests and that we thought there was enough money in the budget and there's enough money because of this mower. Um, and we can we can just say that. And I don't think we need to update the longer list because the town manager still will have to approve those resident requests, um, you know, in terms of whether it's 60 or 50, it comes out to 54, 500 if you just add them all together. But um, we didn't know whether that had installation costs. So I just want to confirm that without going into a deficit in the FY25 budget, we can achieve that recommendation. So I'm turning to all of you for any comments, um, substantive, editorial, and other on the draft report. Sarah. Well, I do have a bunch of little like punctuation things, which I'd be happy maybe just to call you and walk through them. But I did I did have a comment on or question about section D, 
JCPC and CIP plan meetings and discussion um, because it is basically just repeating information that has been presented earlier in the report. So I, I didn't know why that was useful. Um, I mean, one could uh, just append all the minutes of our meetings, I suppose. So, um, it's, so just it's just duplicative. I, yeah. So can people see the section that I, I, can people see my screen? I just put it up. Yes, no. This, this is yes. minutes. Is this minutes? Those are minutes. Uh, uh, wrong, wrong file. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> wrong file. Okay. Um, I agree, uh, Sarah, I do agree. I, I wrote it with one section and then another. So the, the question is, should I shorten the first part to just be one liners and have the longer paragraphs be at the end? Um, does, does everyone see what she's talking about? And I can try to find the report and pull up the right one. I just, uh, Anna was an early reader on this and she had a, her, well, Anna, you can speak for yourself. You suggested that I shorten the first part to one sentences. Um, yeah, right? I, th I thought the first part could be sent, could be shortened really just to be an overview um, and that the second part could go more into the detail. Uh, I thought that might be more helpful. Sorry, right, first part and second part of what? Can of the report. Honest? So um, oh. the the first part, the parts that you were talking about being repetitive, it's in, uh -huh. the, in there twice. And so the first um, instance of it, I thought should really just be about one sentence. And then the second part should be the detailed um, why and how. Um. So I'm looking for, I, I will try to, I think I can bring it up at this point. This is a problem with here, draft two, that's it. Okay. So this is the issue when we did, this first part goes through a long paragraph of the things that were moved out of FY25 or changed. And then later on, a lot of that is either completely repeated in this section D, um, or we say more. So this, I think the honest suggestion, and I just didn't, I didn't do it because I didn't have time, was make the first part just things like move the sidewalk plow, one quick sentence, and then make this part the longer. Do people agree with that change? Okay, so I will do that. So the first part is just a list of what we moved and the clearly the 1.9 million will now have different wording in it. And what what Sarah suggested on on um, uh, just so people know, I in my past life as well as my council life, I'm known for missing words, small typos, um, uh, not enough spaces or too many spaces between a period and the beginning of the next sentence. So punctuation. So any and all I appreciate. And I think one way to do it is either set up a time to talk with me or just send me a track edit, you know, with highlights and I just can merge everything. I'm pretty quick on getting those. Um, I have no pride of authorship or worry that um, I'm a little bit better at not repeating the same words over and over the way I used to. <laughs> but So any other um, comments on the draft? I particularly wanted the, the couple places, well, the one place we had a fairly long discussion was on the resident proposals. And I tried to capture a sense of not so much discomfort, but the, we, we thought these were reasonable proposals and we wish they fit into a larger policy and schema. And um, we're leaving it to the town staff, the school staff to figure out how many of these should go where and whether they should be mobile or not. So I, I think we left it with a strong approve recommendation, but caveats. So I just want to make sure that that wording worked with everyone. It looks like I'm not seeing anyone say no. Uh, 
oh my goodness. All right, so then we, um, I do think, um, I think I, I think we said it, but you know, we're not out at the, at the woods with our capital five-year plan and we're not even seeing the, the out years. We've got, uh, and Sandy probably says, I hope there's a finance director for next year because <laughs> the, the, next, the next year budget, a, uh, both to give it a longer planning time, but we're it, a, 500, a nearly $500,000 deficit is problematic particularly when a chunk of it is driven by the debt, some projects we've we've accumulated. And I put one sentence in that flag when we get out five years, there's even less for, for um, new projects, you know, as we decide to debt finance, that debt service starts coming in. And that means, um, some of the projects that might be in the wings aren't going to come in if we still want to do roads and we want to do vehicles. So, but this is it, the JCPC report has always um, really focused on FY25. And I think Bob was the one who said last week he doesn't believe anything that goes out much further than a year because too many things change over time. So, if there are no other major changes, um, and I what I would ask that people get any editorial, uh, whatever whatever you want to call it, punctuation to me, if possible, or make up a time to talk with me if that's easier, and I can go through it. By could we say by the either the end of the day tomorrow or by Monday morning, because I'd like to finalize the report and we send it to the council, but we also send it to the town manager. Does does that deadline work for people? Uh, yeah, Sarah. Um, I'm leaving town tomorrow for four days. So I wonder if, if this meeting is shorter than two hours, which looks like it may be, if you and I could just talk immediately. Immediately after this meeting, that would yeah. be fine. That's before, fine with me. Before my next meeting at six. Okay, I'm, that's that's fine with me. Did I succeed in stop sharing? Stop sharing. Oh, there we go. Okay, so so Sarah and I are going to talk um, after we end this meeting, and I I'm open ended after to after we end, Sarah. So I think I think we're at a point that. Um, there's an motion to approve the report as amended or as 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 we've discussed it will be amended um if someone can make that motion other than me i will move lee second. Okay. i'm second okay, great then i'm putting it to a vote bob hegner aye Kathy is a yes eugene aye anna aye sarah aye lee Hi, with thanks. <laughs> Jennifer. Yes. Well, thank you all. And I, I want to give a big thanks to Anna because she read a much rougher draft than you saw and both the great queries and what exactly did you mean here? In some cases, it uh, I had no idea, you know, <laughs> it, but it was a sentence left over from another thought that didn't get <laughs> removed. And then she made some clarifications. So I thought that was extremely helpful, just that um, a, a, a really close substantive read, um, which which made it possible. I got this done in a day, but um, it made it possible to get it to you earlier. Thank you for writing it. Kathy. It's, it's a beast of a report. And so I appreciate you doing that work. Well, you know, it's I will say for whoever's chair next year now, there is kind of a format and so, you know, unless there's something really controversial, you can start to plop in pieces before that discussion, ha you know, it just, you can speed it along, um, but a lot does change. So Sandy, um, I just, I wanna thank you so much. I mean, we, we thanked you in the minutes, but again, um, as Anna just said, continuing to follow up on details like this and double checking with staff is extremely appreciated because we really, your wisdom in what you were doing 
was a good guide to all of us, but you'll be able to go back and be able to talk with staff and raise questions and respond was fabulous on what I know was a very tight timeline for you and um, Jennifer and all the staff that work hard on this behind the scenes. So thank you both so much. And I will lead you to clean up the uh, list of the projects and uh, we're working with Anna, the final report will have that summary table in it. And we may put the, um, since the debt, tenure debt schedule is of interest to people, put that one in too, and not put the longer project list just um, until you tell me, it's, until you tell me it stopped moving. <laughs> but... So what, um, in terms of yeah, some of the other components that were in the report in the past, I'm just going to look at those past reports, see what other things we need to create, if any. Uh, and then uh, I guess we should be on the same page as to when you want to then transmit it to the board or to the council and to the manager so that I make sure that all the backup material is in place. Okay, so if Sarah meets with me at the close of this meeting and we just get back on the phone or Zoom or something with each other, um, or because um, I have to close this meeting, Sarah, to just then talk with you about the edits, but 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 I can I can do that easily. Um, but you could just stop the recording. I can just stop the. <laughs> I can just stop the recording, and I should double check um, to. We don't have any attendees, so we that won't have attendees. we won't have any public comments. So, Sandy, I ought to be able to give you a final draft of this by Friday, and I'll double check against your the one place in the report was so so much in each major category, um, you know. Uh, so, right. you know, so that I took off of the last version of the project list. Um, so that's that just mainly gives you a sense, and you know, so. Chiller, as you pointed, as we all read, Chiller was under facilities rather than under police, and now safety equipment and radios might be under fire rather than police, but it's labeled as such. So just that line is going to change with this 1.9 million split in two different ways. Um, and then we got, a, just so you know, we got, um, as Jennifer will know, we got a fuller package at the very beginning that was the beginning draft of what Paul shows to the town, which had each project in with like two sentences on it. But we yeah. don't we don't need that for our report. Okay. You know, we don't need that for our report. Gotcha. That was that was just easy to refer to if people wanted to know what the project was. Um, we didn't recapture it in our report. So we kept it to the kind of length you're seeing, you know, five or six pages with the summary table at the end. Okay. Um, then that's great. I think we should be in good shape then. So that's... any any other closing comments? Jennifer, you signed up for a good uh, <laughs> minute, minute session. <laughs> um, any other closing comments or questions? So I want to thank everybody because I, I thought um, this year, this year was harder in some ways, but because we had a less fully formed, there was a lot more participation of all the JCPC members. Um, mm -hmm. You know, when when you get a totally balanced budget that looks like it's in good shape, you have to look more. You have to. Mm -hmm. It 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 doesn't it doesn't things don't jump out to you as much, um, and so we. In the last few years, there were one or two things we focused on, and this time it was a, a wider ranging discussion, which I think is healthy. I mean, it's the purpose of JCPC. So thank you all very much, B Bob. Yeah, I just wanted to say uh, this is, I think the, the way this committee operated and the, the, the real focus on getting the job done is a testament to how the town itself how the various pieces of the town work together, you know, in order to, you know, get things done. Um, you know, there's not, there wasn't a lot of, uh, you know, jockeying for position or, or, you know, anything like that. It was, we were focused, we were, you know, wanted to just get it right. Uh, and I think 
we did. And I, I, I want to thank everybody for their, co their cooperation. Yeah, I, I would agree with that entirely. So thank you all. And uh, uh, you are, you're given the gift of time as we've, we've been, had a very, a very efficient last meeting. <laughs> so I am going to end, end the meeting um, by stopping the recording and then everyone can leave. And then I think Sarah can stay on. Do we need to vote to adjourn? Oh, we need to, oh we need yes. To is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. <laughs> and I think Bob is seconding. You second Bob? Yep. Uh, Bob. Yes. Kathy is a yes. Eugene. Yes. Anna. Aye. Sarah. Aye. Lee. Yes. And Jennifer. Yes. Okay, unanimous that we are adjourned. And I'm going to stop the recording, but Sarah, we can stay on and okay. you can and I can we can do the yeah. copy together. So thank you all. Have right. a good thank you everybody. Thanks. Thank you everyone. Bye. This was good. Bye.